Hello, I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief. This is where we talk about health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites. Every business has a ladder. In the warehouse for high shelf grabbing, at the office to change batteries in the smoke detector. Because they're so commonplace, workers tend to ignore ladder safety. But this can lead to many accidents. Ladders are like the family dog. They're always around. They can bite you if you don't treat them right. When you're ladder shopping, your choices are, one, a freestanding, lean-against-the-wall style, two, the self-supporting, four-legs-on-the-floor style. Choose wisely. Consider the height. Pick ladders that can easily go up to all areas that workers will need to reach. This will stop them from standing on the top steps. They are for structure only, not for standing. Also consider strength. OSHA requirements for ladder strength depend on the type of ladder, freestanding or self-supporting. Generally, your ladder must be able to support three to four times the max load you expect to put on it. Employees should be trained in the use of ladders. Workers will roll their eyes at this, but a quick run-through may make them realize that they've missed something, like a spotter or someone stabilizing the ladder may be needed, but the spotter should be on the non-climbing side. Slip-resistant shoes are a must. Leather sole shoes, not good. As we mentioned before, top rungs are not for standing on. And even more obvious warnings should be covered. Don't use ladders in high winds or when parts are loose or missing. That brings us to ladder maintenance. OSHA is very vague on inspections. All ladders should have inspections at intervals based on how often and how intensely they are used. Pretty vague. Be smart. Check ladders for issues before you use them and do at least a monthly inspection. I'm heading back down the ladder now. Come back for more ways to stay safety compliant in today's ever-changing landscape of safety requirements. This is Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, sponsored by Creative Safety Supply. Check out their website at creativesafetysupply.com.